So, in tape medics can't figure out how to use a tourniquet. You're probably like, oh, what, qualifi what qualifies you to tell us about a tourniquet? Probably because I just found the YouTube search and, well, it was about how to use a tourniquet. Would you like me to go over it? Place the tourniquet at the top of the limb. Make it make the tourniquet turn into a circle and pull as tightly as possible then you know and then um attach it to the other side securing it that's how you um stop a tourniquet now what are tourniquets for gunshots and extreme bleeding otherwise known as a small cut which is what they used it for so the antifa people uh so, a person was hit with a rubber bullet, which can be lethal, but in this case was not lethal because, you know, shields and also probably distance. And so the rubber bullet tore a bigger hole than the actual wound. The wound's around a quarter, yeah, a quarter of size, and by the looks of it, it doesn't look very, um, bad. And, um, well, uh... Well, the rip in the pants, the uh, black uh, skinny tight jeans, I'm not joking, is around um, 50 times that size. So the wound is smaller than the actual uh, hole in the clothes. And then they put the tourniquet right next to the wound, not on the top of the limb, which is wrong. And then would you like me to demonstrate the screaming that he's doing? Ah! Ah! You can scream like that's actually not an exaggeration. You can scream like that when you're hit with a bullet. Or hit with shrapnel. Until you're hit with one of those. Shut up and deal with it. I didn't scream that bad when I fell off my bike and my entire skin of the knee was gone. So I don't know how you could be. And that is not a exaggeration, that actually happened twice. On two different knees. Fun. And then he says, not a joke, I don't want to lose my leg. Why would you lose your leg? Unless it got infected, but I doubt it got infected, you know. All them diseases be like, eh, you're leftist, so um, we're gonna go only attack the right wing people. Cause you know, all of them aren't increasing to a spike of COVID and when they say, oh, the right just wants to save the stock market so they can keep their businesses and undermining people's health, they're not doing the exact same thing except with businesses. And, and writing, you know, they're not doing the exact same thing, except writing instead of businesses, according to them. But now to go attack the medic of this video. If that person actually went on to battle, the person would go put a tourniquet on the world, and then miss by putting it on the moon. But if she went to a dodgeball game, she, or a dodgeball game, she'd probably come there with body bags. If she was employed in the army, she'd turn into Jello. So I um I I really I can't think of any more. Oh no, I can. I I definitely can, but I'm going to stop. Oh god. Um, more. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but anybody who gets a slight injury needs a tourniquet. Hey, what did the tourniquet say to any wound? I'm needed. Okay, uh, I, I'm done with that. That's boring. Also, what was that thing about Antifa protesters, quote-unquote, being, um, being a tough? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, let, let me go put a tourniquet around a wound the size of a quarter. Very tough. Let me go, uh, say, my leg needs to be amputated. Yeah, from a wind the size of a quarter. God. I swear a five-year-old would get up with more uh, liveliness than this person would with a scratch the entire size of his body. Jesus. 
And then under that tourniquet, you know, the tourniquet right by the wound, wrongly applied, they put a bleeding pad. What? I'm confused? Yes. Let me go shove in something on your wounds. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Wait, and how many people are on this dude? Oh my Jesus. There's six people all helping him. And a couple of them tell him to breathe. Because he's going into labor. Yeah. And then this big, I mean, ditch looks like a person. Or a dog who wants stomach rubs. Okay, bye.